Hello and welcome everyone. Today the poem which we are going to read and discuss is actually a very finer piece of writing written by the poet Rudyard Kipling and the name of the poem is If. If the poem in itself is actually a very unique poem. It is actually a road map. As you all know life is full of difficulties, adversities and critical situation and it comes to us in different forms. Each day we come across many unpleasant situation but how do we face those adverse situation? How do we behave in front of those situation? How do we act in the difficult situation and all that is actually what really matters. And this is what shapes an ordinary human being to a perfect human being. And the name of the poem is as you can see is if and that is actually a very short title which means a sort of condition, the guidelines or the road map which are given in the poem. If you can follow these guidelines then we can definitely become the best versions of our lives. This poem is written by Rudyard Kipling who is actually a novel laureate poet. And I shall talk about this poet in the last part of the video. Because even the very beginning of the video we start talking about the poet. It looks more like a biography and that is actually very very boring. So at first we shall start analyzing this beautiful poem and in the last part of the video I shall tell you about Rudyard Kipling who is literally a bright star of English literature. So without making any further delay let's start. So let's start analyzing this poem. But before going to analyze this poem, I want to tell you something that this poem actually comprises of four stanzas. But here in your book, it is given comprising only three stanzas, and each stanza will comprise of some difficult words and idioms that shall help you to increase and develop your vocabulary. We shall discuss the meaning of these idioms and vocabulary as well in this video. Okay. The first two lines that are, if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. At first, the speaker of the poem, I am referring him as speaker of the poem because the poet of the poem is speaking to us through the speaker. Speaker is directly talking to us. Alright. And is telling us certain conditions. Certain conditions the word if and as you can see the first word of the poem is itself the title of the poem and is telling us if you can keep your head keep your head means to keep yourself calm by the way it is basically an idiom keep your head it means to be calm in difficult situations suppose you are facing some difficulties people are blaming you that because of you we are facing these problems and suppose they are losing their own mind see it's written as when all about you when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you many times in life it happens suppose the people those who are those who are with you they start doing panic and as well as, well as start blaming others and blaming you too that time if you can keep yourself calm in that condition that would be a manly thing the next two lines that are if you can trust yourself if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowance for the doubting too now these two lines are very beautiful the first line that is if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you if you can keep the trust upon you when people surrounding you are doubting you. It is not like that somebody has stolen something and due to that people are doubting him. The meaning is a little different. Suppose there is a given work and you do believe that you can do that work easily. But people around you have not trust on yourself that you, can, you could do that. They do not believe that you are capable of doing that work. They are not keen to accept the fact that you can do that work very easily then also if you believe that you could do that it is the condition that is meant through the word that is meant through the word if the next line that is but make allowance for their doubting too now this line has a deeper meaning it is saying that if the people around you are doubting you then also you should have the space in your mind to consider their doubting that should not be the condition where suppose you have got some problem on your leg 
and the people surrounding you are telling that you cannot run. But you ignore their words and start running. No, it should not happen. You should stop and think. If they are doubting you, then there must be some reasons. You should have the space in your mind to allow their words. Alright. Make making allowance, make allowance for their doubting too. But along with that work, you should not lose the confidence upon you. It is a very balancing task in itself. The next lines that are if you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies or being hated, don't give way to hating and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. These lines are again too beautiful. Again, the condition, whatever the speaker is talking about here, shall help us to develop ourselves. These are again guidelines that are telling that if you want to be a better individual in this world, if you want to pass on this life with dignity, then you will have to focus on these things. If you want to create an impressive personality, then only. The first line that is, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting, that means if you can wait and do not become tired by waiting, do not become disturbed that I will have to wait for so long. It means that you should have patience in you, which is a very important condition. Moving on to the next line that is all being lied about, don't deal in lies. It is a very important line. If people are speaking lie about you, suppose if I say he is being lied about. Now there is a difference between being lied to and being lied about. Being lied to means directly blaming the person. Being lied about means something different. Suppose saying lie about the person. Suppose if I say Ramesh is being lied about. Now I am directly saying that somebody is saying something against of Ramesh. So the core idea is that if people are lying about you, people are saying some bad words about you, in life it happens. Maybe it has happened to you as well. Suppose you have not done a heinous activity or any bad work, but people are saying that you have done the activity. Basically they are lying about you. Then also you should not lie. Don't deal in lie means, don't deal in lie means, don't lie about anyone. The line suggests, suppose you are the victim of a given situation. People are using your name. They are lying about you. But in that given condition also, you will not lie about anybody. You will not take the help of lie. You shall always be with truth. It is the condition. Now the next line that is, or being hated, don't give way to hating. Which continues the same emotion. If people are hating you, if they don't like you, then also you will not hate anybody. You will not upbring the sense of hate in you. Don't give way to hating. Don't give way to hating means you will not harbor the sense of hate in you. And the final line of the stanza that is and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. Which is actually a very important line. This line is actually a very philosophical line. Here the poet is saying that when you are following these guidelines that people are blaming you and you should keep yourself calm, they are lying about you but you should lie about you should not lie about them, you should be truthful, you should be good. When you are following all these good things and all that, that time don't look too good nor talk too wise. It means you should not be that good and nice. Don't be extra nice. Because that time that because that that will also be harmful for you. Obviously it happens. Most of the time when a person brings up brings all these good things and got all this sort of above mentioned good good qualities in him, inside him, he or she starts giving ideas or suggestions or sometimes advices to other people. The speaker is saying that you should not do this that shall stop your growth now dear viewers do keep in mind the idiom that we have read in our first danger that is keep your head 
it means to remain calm it would be better if you can make a sentence using this idiom for example i have written ram was in a ram was under pressure but kept his head now the idiom is keep your head but whenever we are talking about a particular person we shall use he or she depending depending upon the gender so i am again requesting you to write a sentence by using this idiom in the comment section the next stanza that is if you can dream and not make dreams your master if you can think and not make thoughts your aim if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat these two imposters just the same if you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools <clears throat> now if we look at the first line that is if you can dream and not make your dreams your master the line says that if you notice then you will see that this line has again started with the same word that is if and the line says that if you can dream but don't become the slave of your dreams it is a condition this tells this line says that it is actually a condition this tells you to dream but don't become the slave of them suppose you have dreamt of cracking upsc you want to become a civil servant you want to become the deputy collector now this is actually very good good aim and dream but don't just dream it work on it the next line that is if you can think and not make thoughts your aim this line also similarly this line the second line that is it is also similarly based on the same emotion it is saying yes you should think but just don't waste your time on thinking okay you should focus on your goal and start working moving on to the last and uh, moving on to the third line that is if you can meet with triumph if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat these two imposters just the same the line says that if you can meet with triumph and disaster triumph means the word triumph means triumph means achievement glory proud moment your name and fame and all disaster means as you all know tragedy catastrophe you all know if we do anything very good or of something that is very praised we shall get achievements but if we do something bad we may meet with tragedy as well as catastrophe which the speaker is referring as disaster the speaker is saying that in our journey we should meet both of them with same emotion and treat these two imposters the second the fourth line that is and treat these two imposters just the same now what does the term imposter mean imposter means a person who pretends to be someone in order to cheat or deceive other the speaker is calling this triumph and disaster as imposters and along with that he is also saying that we should meet this triumph and disasters with same emotions the next lines of the stanza that are if you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools here the speaker again starts with if and says that if you can hear the truth and if you can speak truth then sometimes your words might be twisted twisted the word means colored by knaves now knaves knaves means knaves the word means dishonest people these knaves may color your words they can figure out another meaning of your words and as a result you may suffer suppose you have said something and the knaves or the dishonest people have figured out a different meaning of those lines so that your actual image is tot they are just in the way to destroy your current image so this is the meaning of these lines 
coming to the next lines that are or watch the things you have you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools now in the next two lines the speaker is saying that if you have spent your whole life after your work that may or shall be broken into pieces by somebody or just in the due course of the time for example if you have worked on a given project you were very passionate about that and suddenly that collapses then also you have to accept that you'll have to ready for that and stoop and build them up with worn out tools this means stoop means to sit down on the ground here stoop means you have to sit down and have to form or start the thing from the wreckage and from the very beginning worn out means old material so that the speaker is saying that sometimes maybe suppose you, you have worked very hard but due to the unwanted condition unwanted situation they have fallen into pieces you should not you should not be disheartened you should always be trying and you should always be ready for this kind of unwanted things moving on to the last danger that is if you can feel the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds or of distance run now over here the speaker is talking about our efforts and saying that as we all know there are 60 seconds in a minute so if we can use our each second effectively then we can surely give our best in the next and final two lines yours is the earth and everything that's in it and which is more you will be a man my son this line says that if we can do all the above mentioned things effectively and perfectly then the whole earth is ours and whatever is present in this earth is ours and as a result we can become a perfect man perfect human being and that's whatever the explanation of the poem if dear viewers before going to read about the poet of the poem let us again look back at the central idea of the poem the poem is based on the idea of a common man who could improve himself when encountering the positive and the negative circumstances part of this is devoted to the times when the negatives could bring forth a negative response but a common man could choose to rise above the usual expectations and select the greatest expectations instead it's like being trained to be a gentleman gentleman or a tough in society yet at all levels of society so it's also like that expression to be kind to everyone on the way up because you could meet them on the way down coming to the poet rudyard kipling he was born in the 1865 and died in the year 1936 he was born in bombay that is right now called mumbai at the age of 6 he was sent to school in england when he finished his education he became a reporter and traveled to many places he revisited india in 1882 to 1887 kipling won the nobel prize for literature in the year 1907 He is best known for his jungle stories, which include the Jungle Book, that was written in the year 1894, and Kim, that is another book which was written in the year 1901. Both these stories are based in India. Kipling's, Kipling's poetry is actually full of vigor. He produced a number of volumes of poetry, and in many of the poems, he glorified the values of action and wrote about the values of manliness, loyalty, self-sacrifice, and so on. so i hope you have, you have enjoyed the poem but still if you have any kind of query or you have any kind of doubts about the poem you can make it clear and you can write it very clearly in the comment section and i shall try to answer those comments if you have any kind of query so for today i am concluding my explanation over here we shall meet in another video till then stay home stay safe keep smiling